What's up, ninjas? Welcome back to Skyhook Homeschool. Coach Izzy here with an at-home ninja grip strength workout for you guys. What you guys are gonna do is you're gonna do each of these exercises 20 times, three times. So we're gonna go through a list of no equipment necessary exercises and two chair exercises. One that's gonna be for our more advanced, stronger, maybe even our adult ninjas. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do today is finger flickers. I want you guys to hold your arms out in front of you, close fists, and shoot your fingers off your hands 20 times. Nice job. Arms out to your side. Same thing. Shoot your fingers off your hands 20 times. Great work. Now, arms over your head, same thing. Rocket fingers 20 times. Good work. Shake that out really quickly. Hopefully you've got a little bit of a pump building up. If you didn't, I really want you to squeeze those fists hard and extend those fingers out as quickly as you can. Flick off the fingers, squeeze tight. Flick off the fingers, squeeze tight. Good work. Up next is going to be hands clasped wrist rolls. So you're gonna clasp your hands together just like this, and then touch your forearms and roll your wrists out. If you can't touch your forearms together, I want you just to pull them out and slowly roll your wrists in one direction 20 times, and then in the other direction 20 times. 20 is the magic number of the day, ninjas. This is to help take care of our wrists and loosen them up for all the pulling and pushing we do as ninjas. And good work. Up next is going to be a fingertip push-up progression. So I want pretty much all of you to start on the wall. And this is gonna, we're gonna do each of these progressions together. And you're gonna pick the one that's right for you. The first one is gonna be up onto the wall. You're gonna extend your arm out in front of you and put pressure into the wall with just a knife hand. Then you're gonna take your fingers just like so, support yourself on the wall, arms extended feet backwards a little bit and lean in like you're doing a push-up on the wall with just your fingers. You're gonna do this 20 times and whether you're really good at push-ups or not, if you go super duper slow, you're gonna feel this in your hands and fingers. Next, if that was too easy for you on the next round, I want you to go to your couch or your stairs if you have some and I want you to do incline fingertip push-ups. 20 of those. If that's still just too easy for you, try it down on the ground. But I only want you to do this if your hands are strong enough and if you feel like those other two progressions were just too easy for you. Don't do one and then say I'm fine. I really want you to make sure you go through all 20 first and then the next time you come back and do this, you can do the whole set on the ground. Really, really test yourself and make sure you know where you're at and how strong you are. Next is going to be clenched hand wrist flexion. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a fist and you're gonna roll thumbs up just like so. You're gonna roll the wrist in and out. That's one. If you're doing this right, you should already feel a burn. job same hand position arms out in front of you and you're gonna tip your hands up and down just like so good work 20 times you should already feel it here we're only in round one good work shake that out really quickly we do the same thing but fists forward and thumbs inward you're gonna bend your wrist down and up 20 times. So now, 
same thing, hands forward, thumbs in, wrists turn in and out. Two, zero times. Once again, we're maintaining the wrists and building a good pump. Good work, 20 times, all set. Now ninjas, I want you to take a break for a second, come back in about a minute and do this all over again. You're gonna do this three times total. All right ninjas, so now that you've got your original pump and you're set with your zero equipment grip training, next we're gonna do our chair grip training. So. The first one I want all of you to do, and this is gonna be a seated finger extensor exercise. What you're gonna do is you're gonna sit down in a chair, hopefully one that has a hard uh, surface to sit on. So a soft, squishy chair won't be as good for this one. You're gonna lean forward just a little bit and grab the edge of the chair. Roll your fingers around it and underneath it. Then slowly but surely, I want you to roll your knuckles up and then extend your fingers straight out. And then roll them back and around the edge. Pull them up and out, extend and down. Roll them up and out, making sure you're keeping your palm pressed down to the surface that you're holding on to. You can do this on your staircase, anywhere with a flat surface that you can kind of lean into your palms on. You're gonna do this 20 times, seated finger extensor exercise. Keep going. Let me see what you guys got. This exercise should be nice and slow. It shouldn't be fast. You're taking your time working out those hands. You're gonna do this 20 times, just like our finger flickers and our wrist rolls before. And well done, good job. All right, ninjas, so this is an advanced exercise for our stronger ninjas. If you want, I want you to try this with a light, 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 like plastic chair or something extremely, extremely light. You're gonna lay down on the ground with a chair in front of you, just like I am here. You're gonna grab the legs of the chair Bend your elbows, picking up the chair. And then you're gonna hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds and put it down. Once you've done this three times, you're gonna take a break and shake it out. Next, you're gonna do our wrist rolls up while holding onto the chair. And you're gonna do this five to 10 times and then put your chair down. If you're feeling really strong and you've got this and this is not a big deal, shoot for that number 20. Otherwise, that's it for our chair exercises. All right, so up next, I need you guys to get two big hardbound books that you can hold in a really big pinch. Because that's what you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be doing pinch grip strength using books. You're gonna hold these together three times for 20 seconds at a time. You're gonna do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest. 20 on, 10 rest. Awesome, great job. 20 seconds of book holding done. You put those down, you're gonna shake it out, you're gonna do it again. But you're gonna have to come back and do it on your own. 
And that does it for our Ninja Grip Strength workout at home today, guys. I hope you guys like it. I want you guys to rewind the video, go through this two more times for a total of three sets, each of these exercises, if you haven't already, and really, really work that grip strength. We'll see you guys back at the gym soon. Stay out of trouble and make good choices, everybody. On three, I want you guys to give me that really, really loud and proud Skyhook Ninja cheer. One, two, three. Skyhook Ninjas. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.